This is a quick video to show you how to subtract fractions from whole numbers. So let's say we have the problem 6 minus 3 fourths. And anytime I'm doing fraction computation with addition and subtraction, I like to write my problems vertically uh, because it kind of lets me uh, separate whole numbers from fractions and distinguish those place values. So I'm going to draw a vertical line and on the left hand side I'm going to put my whole number 6 and on the right hand side I'm going to put my fraction 3 fourths. Now that I have my problem set up I'm going to treat it just like I would with whole number subtraction. I'm going to start on the right side and I'm going to attempt to take 3 fourths away. The only problem is right now right above the 3 fourths I have nothing to take it away from. So just like with whole number subtraction I'm going to have to do some regrouping. So I'm going to think of this 6 as a 5 plus 1. So with, with whole numbers, you would have marked this out and you would have put it as a 5. You would have then moved the 1 over to the place value to the right. So with fractions here, I'm going to think of this as 5 plus 1. And then I'm going to take this 1 right here. And I'm going to do just like I would with whole numbers. I'm going to move this 1 to the place value to the right, which is the my fraction column. But when that 1 moves to the fraction column, it must become a fraction. So I've got to look at what is the name of the fraction here. Well, the name of the fractions that I'm working with here are fourths. So when I move that 1 hole over there, it's going to, going to become fourths. So this is where my knowledge of fractions kicks in, and I know that there are four fourths in one hole. So now that I have regrouped that one hole over there, what I really am doing now is I'm really doing 5 and 4 fourths minus 3 fourths. You'll notice that 5 and 4 fourths is the same thing as 6. So it's not like we have changed our problem here. We have just regrouped our problem. So now I'm ready to go ahead and subtract. So I'm going to take my 4 fourths, subtract 3 fourths, which gives me 1 4. And I'm going to take my five holes, subtract no holes, and get five holes. So my answer to this problem is five and one fourth. Let's look at another example. So let's say I'm doing five minus two thirds. Again, I'm going to set this up vertically. My whole number is going to go on the left. My fraction is going to go on the right. I'm trying to take two thirds away from nothing in the fraction column, so I'm going to have to do some regrouping. I'm going to think of the 5 as the same thing as 4 plus 1 whole. And then I'm going to take that 1 whole, and I'm going to move that 1 whole into the fraction column. When I move it into the fraction column, it takes the name of the fraction, which in this case is thirds. So 1 whole is equal to 3 thirds. So what I really just did here is I took 1 whole away from 5 holes, but I moved that hole over to the fraction column and made it 3 thirds. So what I really have is 4 and 3 thirds, which is the same thing as 5 holes, minus 2 thirds. So 3 thirds minus 2 thirds is 1 third, and 4 minus nothing is 4. So my answer is 4 and 1 third.